In formal language theory, a string is defined as a finite sequence of members of an underlying base set. This set is called the alphabet of a string or collection of strings. The members of the set are called symbols, and are typically thought of as representing letters, characters, or digits. For example, a common alphabet is 0, 1, the binary alphabet, and a binary string is a string drawn from the alphabet 0, 1. An infinite sequence of letters may be constructed from elements of an alphabet as well. Notation If L is a formal language, i.e. a possibly infinite set of finite length strings, the alphabet of L is the set of all symbols that may occur in any string in L. For example, if L is the set of all variable identifiers in the programming language C, L's alphabet is the set A, B, C, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, 0, 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, underscore. Given an alphabet Sigma Display style Sigma The set of all strings of length N Display style N over the alphabet Sigma Display style Sigma is indicated by Sigma N Display style Sigma carrot N the set i element of n sigma i text style big cup underscore i in mathbound n sigma caret i of all finite strings, regardless of their length, is indicated by the clean star operator as sigma display style sigma caret asterisk, and is also called the clean closure of sigma. Display style sigma. The notation sigma omega display style sigma caret omega indicates the set of all infinite sequences over the alphabet sigma display style sigma and sigma infinity display style sigma caret inf t indicates the set. Sigma, sigma, omega. Display style sigma caret ast cup sigma caret omega. Of all finite or infinite sequences. For example, using the binary alphabet 0, 1, the strings epsilon 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 10, 11,000, etc., are all in the clean closure of the alphabet, where epsilon represents the empty string. Topic Applications Alphabets are important in the use of formal languages, automata and semi-automata. In most cases, for defining instances of automata, such as deterministic finite automata DFAs, it is required to specify an alphabet from which the input strings for the automaton are built. In these applications, an alphabet is usually required to be a finite set, but is not otherwise restricted. When using automata, regular expressions, or formal grammars as part of string processing algorithms, the alphabet may be assumed to be the character set of the text to be processed by these algorithms, or a subset of allowable characters from the character set. See also Combinatorics on words <laughs>